Published time, the 12th of August 2018, 1654. Edited time, the 13th of August 2018, 740. Russian chemical disarmament has been confirmed by the OPCW, while the U.S. asked to postpone the process till early 2020s. Foreign Minister Sergey Lavrov said, commenting on the new round of American sanctions over the Scripple case. Three years ago, based on the results of all conceivable inspections we we've received confirmation, within the OPCW, Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, framework, that the process of chemical disarmament by Russia has been completed, Lavrov told journalists in the Kazakh city of Akdow on Sunday, we didn't close our facilities to the inspectors. They visited everything they wanted to visit and came to the conclusion, which I just mentioned, he added. Read more The U.S. had to complete its chemical disarmament within roughly the same time frame as us, Russia, the minister reminded, but they again asked for a reschedule, this time now until early 2020s. So, we should rather be speaking about problems with chemical disarmament in the U.S., he pointed out. Earlier this week, the U.S. State Department slapped Moscow with a new round of sanctions after saying that it had determined that Russia was responsible for the chemical poisoning of double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia in the U.K. in March. The claim wasn't backed by any evidence, with the American side promising even more restrictions in three months if Russia doesn't provide guarantees that it won't change its ways regarding the chemical weapons use and prevent international inspectors from visit production facilities in the country. According to reports, the first package of sanctions, scheduled to come into effect on or around August 22, will include a ban on exports of sensitive national security goods to Russia. The second, harsher, round of sanctions is said to include downgrading diplomatic relations, banning the Russian airline Aeroflot from flying to the U.S. and cutting off nearly all exports and imports. Read more, no surprise if Moscow recalls ambassador, Russia will lash out against new sanctions, say experts Lavrov reiterated that Russia rejected the American accusations, saying that anybody who is at least slightly familiar with the so-called Scribble case understands the absurdity of the statement on Moscow being guilty contained in the State Department's official paper, he said. The UK has been claiming that the Scripples were poisoned by a Soviet-designed toxin called Novichok and, based on this, blamed Russia for the attack. However, more than four months after the incident London has been unable to produce any convincing proof of Moscow's involvement in the poisoning. Think your friends would be interested? Share this story.